I think everybody's got a circular saw and uh, I'll tell you the truth I wish I knew a source where people were throwing away these blades um, if you ever want to make something that's bulletproof well let me say that these these are not bulletproof themselves until you start welding some of them together but they will stop at 22 pretty much every time because they're made out of a high carbon steel these are made very strong because you know they need to be strong so they don't fly apart when they're um, cutting wood if you hit a nail or something like that they, they can't stress crack and break and pieces fall off of it um, so you want to keep these old ones and what you could do is you can overlap them and um, weld them together with something like this. I mean, it don't have to be welded like a total seam, but just good enough to uh, have some seriously good beads on here someplace. Doesn't have to be all the way around. If you keep layering these things, you're actually making something that's bulletproof, uh, and um, you can use that on it on whatever you know, back of a door, um, some place where you're staying in a shelter or whatever. And um, it's a cheap solution because if you start digging out, and the problem is, I wish you had access to, maybe some people do have access to places that throw these things away left and right, like, I don't know where, maybe some carpenters or something, or maybe you could buy them up dirt cheap for five bucks for a hundred of them or something, and um, get a bunch of these, and you can just... And then when you mount, you, you get them, you get them together, you can mount them, you can say, you can put together some pallets and uh, just drill some a hole in here once in a while, not too many holes because that'll be the weak point, and then um, put a screw in there to the pallet and you got yourself a, a fairly strong, depends on what kind of round it is, but for a lot of rounds, you start doubling these up, they'll probably stop. Uh, they'll stop at 30, 22. I'm not going to tell you to bet your life on it. They'll probably they, they're alleged to stop at 22, just one thickness. I think with a 38, or maybe even a 357. Now, if you triple them up, you're probably going to be stopping some pretty heavy duty. Probably any pistol. You go maybe five or six deep, um, you probably be stopping pretty much most rifles. So it's something good to have and. Um, the other thing is too, whenever you make some kind of barricade like this, you want to have it on an angle. That's just a simple principle. That's something that the Germans discovered with the T-34 tank the sloping armor. You know, when it hits something, it's got a lot more armor to go through because it's a it's at an angle. But the other side of it is it deflects a lot of the energy. Just goes, not, it doesn't go straight back. It's, it's, it's deflects up. That's another thing. But you might want to save a lot of these things, and um, I've been saving pretty much any kind of metal stuff I got because, you know, I got this is my one welder, and I got the other welder inside the little Hobart 125 big. This is a 140 Chinese Great Northern Industrial or some crap, and um, you know, you know, you want to save all this crap. You know, if you're married or something, I don't know, you're going to be having having problems with that shit because be like, what are you saving? shit for but you know what um i don't know how much longer shit's gonna hold together to tell you the truth in the united states i know that's been said for many 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 years they were saying this back in the 1950s but um as soon as saudi goes figure the dollar is going because saudi's actually the, the oil petro the petro dollar is all backed by the rigged game we got going with opec and um I see some shit coming up now, even with the Trump administration, which I'm not anti-Trump, but I'm telling you that since Obama's been around for eight years, um, you know, he's built up Iran, Iran, whatever the hell it is. Now, Trump's going to probably go balls to the wall trying to try to maybe take him out, which is going to lead to a lot of shit, which is going to lead to maybe a devaluing of the dollar. Let's not call it a collapse, but a major devaluing of the dollar. It's happened before, you know. British pound is still with us, but it was it was the currency back in the 1900s. I mean, in the 1800s, in the 19th century, and it's still a strong currency today. But um, what you might find is a lot of um, you know crime going on in the country, and um, whatever whatever area you're at, you want to be extra secure and um, 
this is one of the things that can actually make you a semi bulletproof um, you know uh, backstop on certain things and you know this can also be used um, like on your door jams um, sometimes where if you maybe just cut this out right here if you make this use this plate where the door the bolt goes into the door and this reinforces a lot more wood you can just cut this out right here with the with the uh, cutoff wheel and use that for that too and this this type of steel is some damn strong stuff it's crazy that we throw these things away because you know that the blade gets dull because there's a lot of there's a lot of good metal there this is this is some really strong steel you shouldn't throw it away there's several uses for it and actually a lot of different uses for it if you start looking for like brackets and things like that one problem is you're not gonna be able it's not bendable it's not bendable really unless you heat it up and lose its temper uh, and you change the properties of the steel but as far as it being very strong and tough it's it's about the best shit you can get and uh, why throw them away